Sie da drin sind, der ist ja gelohnt. So tell us your journey from being a non-dancer to actually performing such heavy duty stuff on stage. So the journey has been really good. Uh, you know, I actually came in as a non-dancer and I really believe I'm a non-dancer. And I'm sure everybody who's watched my performance also believes that I'm a non-dancer. Uh, I'm very happy with my journey to be very honest because uh, I have on my own to be very honest uh, apart from what others say, but I genuinely am very happy with my performances in the sense that yes, they have been low scoring and things like that and very rightly so. But then, you know, as a personal gain, I feel that I have really grown and there's a lot that I've learned, there's a lot that I've taken from the show, which is wonderful and which feels great. So I'm pretty happy with my journey. And people were talking about like you giving such part of performance this week. So why, like at a last stage, why not before that? Um, it's not that, uh, you know, I try to save something for the end. It's just that, uh, you know, one body gets used to a certain kind of dance and then just gets into the rhythm. And secondly, I was also fortunate that this week I got a few offs from my show. So I had time with me. And I think that is what is what what is the most important because since I had a lot of time, I could rehearse a lot more. Like usually I, I would just come in the evenings late and nights and do it and you know you're basically very tired and then you're sleepy but you're not sleeping because you're rehearsing and I think the grasping power also becomes less. So now that I had a lot of time it became much better and I could perform. So I'm happy. I don't know now tomorrow is the main night so I think I really wait to answer this one. So which has been your most difficult after now? To be very honest all of me very difficult for me. Like I said that before that uh, dancing doesn't come naturally to me. And uh, very honestly, you know, I've been very happy with most of my acts other than there are two acts where I genuinely forgot. Uh, other than that, I feel that what I did, I was really very happy and content with what I did. So, overall, I'm fine. Yes, of course, I always want to improve and I wanted to improve and uh, so that's what I'm at. And which act did you enjoy the most? There have been lots of them that I really enjoyed. To be very honest, I've actually enjoyed uh, each and every act of mine. But that's quite a cliche. But the act that I did for my mother, uh, that was really close to my heart because it was the first time I was performing for my mother and um, in her presence. So it was really very touching for me. Then there was an act that I did uh, in front of uh, Mr. Shah Rukh Khan. And uh, that was also a different feeling altogether. Because I was really nervous in front of my mother when I was performing. But then when I was actually performing in front of Mr. Shah Rukh Khan, I got even more nervous. So, you know, yes, those those were the acts. And then there was this Ravi Rathod act that I was doing and I really enjoyed doing that. Then I did uh, Roomba, which I really loved doing. Then I was doing the Robotic. So, you know, there's so many of them that I really like, you know, like all of them are very close now. So do you see yourself in the finals? I would like to see myself in the finals, but uh, it's a competition and I don't think that anybody in a competition gets into a competition to lose or come out at some possible ground. Everyone who's been a part of the show, I'm sure wants to win the show and that's the reason why they come into a competition. So unlike any other person, even I want to win the show. But how far we go, it really depends on um, you know people as well as uh, the judges. So I'm trying my best and I am trying to learn. So I don't see that, you know, I'm like reached a plateau where oh from here on I cannot learn. I see myself learn. Now this week I'm doing something new. So, you know, I see the process still going strong and going uh, you know in the right direction. So I'm really happy about it. And you know, those things you are never sure of. What I'm basically concentrating is about my next week back. And has Jalak Plaza helped you break the mold of shift for the audience? Uh see Shiv is a mold which uh one would not really want to break. It's a very nice mold to be in and there's a lot that I've taken from the character. And talking about uh, Chalati Plaza giving me something, yes it has given me my own identity now when I go out, you know the people know me by my name, which is really wonderful because as a television actor people usually know you by your character name. And um, you know on a show like this when I am playing myself, I am myself and uh, you know people get to know the real me and uh, plus you know, they know me by my name, which is really good. Like there has been a lot of recognition and I, you know, it's been fortunate that there has been a lot of recognition. Uh, with this show, I've got my name back, so which means good. And you come across as a shy person, so how do you manage to break your inhibition and romance in Chalak? Means in front of a live audience, judges, so is it like difficult? Um, see, I'm um, shy as in the... I don't know how far shy I am, but uh, in front of the camera, I think I'm really fine. 
uh, that's my job, that's what I do. And uh, so once I'm in front of the camera, then everything, nothing makes me nervous. But uh, otherwise, you know, I'm, I'm the over the top. I am myself. And what kind of a girl is it like today? I don't know. I don't have no. Um, I don't have no notion in my mind like, oh, this is the kind of girl that I need. You know, I totally believe that there are no tailor cut women out there. That, oh, that's the kind of girl, oh, she doesn't fit there. No, it's not like that. I think someone I can just connect with, someone that, uh, you know, I can speak myself and we have the same wavelength. I think that's what's important. And then once that happens, then that's the kind of girl I want. And so how would that woo a girl? How would I woo a girl? I don't know. I mean, I think when I just see someone, that's, it just happens naturally. I don't plan these things, so you know, if I plan, then I don't think I'm the right guy. So everyone who says like, oh, this is what I do to work, but that's not the guy you want to go for. Tell us about your fitness and diet, Pandas. I think one should uh, just work out regularly because, uh, you know, one's body is very important. And, uh, you know, we all have different uh, fields of work and you know, different kind of work that we do. Work we do. Like, I'm an actor and I'm selling myself and my body and things like that, you know, and my heart. But there are a lot of people who work in the office, then it's you all, uh, you know, as you all know, that you all are basically behind the camera and people are not really judging you on how you all are, you know, physically or, you know, how you all are looking. So, you know, there's a lot of times that you do not take care of your skin or take care of your body, which is not really right. I think one should always take care of the body because this is what's really going to take us ahead. And uh, we've got just one body and it's not going to come back. So, make the most of it. And tell us more about your choreographer, Mona. How has the bond between you and you? Oh, Mona, we chill out and uh, we share a good bond and uh, she's always at it and, you know, I feel sorry that a lot of times that I come tired and, you know, but she's highly energetic, uh, like my previous choreographer. Uh, so both of them, I've been fortunate that the two choreographers that I've had, they've been so energetic and they really push me to go and thanks to them is what I've been able to do. That I'm being able to do what I'm being doing. Uh, that I'm being able to do what I'm doing. And what about the judges? How have they been? I think the judges have been really right, uh, to be very honest. Though. Even when I've been score, whenever I've scored low, I have never thought that they've been wrong in the assessment or judgment. I think you know, the judgment has always been right. And uh, whatever comments they've given, I've really uh, stuck to it. I've tried to, you know, put it into action. And secondly, also that whatever they've told me. That I want to know for a reality show, what is more important? Popularity or obviously for a dance reality show, more of dancing? Okay, uh, to be very honest, I'll just tell you my perspective. And what I see, uh, what I think of Chalak is, Chalak, yes it is a dance show. But it's not predominantly only a dance show, it's a celebrity based show. Where, you know, I feel that it is more about on the lines where people would like to see a celebrity who is, you know, getting there. Because if it was a dance show, then I would miss it because I can't dance. So, you know, I think it is just everybody to their own and, you know, they have love of improvement. And of course, popularity plays a lot of part in it because it's also voting. So, I'm sure that plays a big part in it. And I think it was also a role that it's usually 50-50 the judges eating as well as, um, you know, the votes that you get. So, yes, popularity does help. And any message to your fans? To my fans, I'd just like to say that uh, you know your support has been incredible and uh, you know it's really touching that the kind of support that I've got and you know your, there have been a lot of times that you know I could just be out but thanks to your support that I've still been there. So I'd really like to appreciate, I'd really like to thank each and every one of you for the kind of support that you've shared with me. I really hope that you all still continue to share the same kind of support and I'm really trying hard. Apart from what people say around that I'm not being but you know, I know that I've been putting in a lot of uh, efforts and uh, I'm hoping that it just transcends when you watch it on um, screen, when you watch it, you're like it when you're watching on TV and I'm trying to do my best that you're like it.